Hi everyone. So today we're going to talk about cylinders. How do we draw them in three-dimensional space? So here I have an equation x squared plus y squared is equal to four, and we want to sketch this in the three-dimensional space. It's going to be a cylinder because in the xy plane the traces are going to be circles center at zero zero, the radius is two, and we're going to open along the z-axis. So it's going to be that curve generating a cylinder. So let's take a look at how it's going to look like. So we know that this in xy plane is going to be a circle centered at the origin. And the radius of this circle is going to be 2. So if I were to draw just the curve in the xy plane, so it's going to look something like this the circle of radius 2. Now if you were to put this in the x, y, and z plane, so here's my x, y, and z. So this is x, this is y, and this is z. So the, the circle is sitting right in the x, y plane, and it's going to extend along the missing variable, which is z. So it would, it would look something like this. So I'll do my best to uh, show you the picture. So it's going to look something like this. All right, so like that. And then it's just going to create lots of circle along the z-axis, which will give you this picture of a cylinder. So hopefully you can use your imagination to see this. And of course, it's going to go in the negative z direction as well, because z could be really any value. And this is what we call a cylinder generated by these circles in the xy plane. So let me show you uh, this same picture in a three-dimensional calculator so you have a better view of how this looks like. Here's my 3D calculator, and I'm going to type in the equation that we just had. We had uh, x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. So this is the picture that I try to draw by hand. You see that the, the cylinder is up, open along the z-axis. So you, if you just uh, put it into different angle, you start to see how it looks like. So the z is the blue, and you see how we're tracing circles along the z-axis and of course it has nothing inside it's a hollow cylinder so it's just the um the surroundings so that's the surface of x squared plus y squared is equal to four here is another one this is also a cylinder because we have x squared plus z squared y is missing so if the variable is missing it's going to open along that axis missing axis so here in the x z plane we're going to trace circles, and we're going to extend those circles along the y-axis. So here's our graph in the um, x, z plane. So this is x, this is z, and the radius is 2 as well, just like the previous one. Now, if you were to put this trace in the um, three-dimensional space, so here's our x, y, and z plane. Now. Here's the circle, so it's going to open along the y-axis. So I'm going to try to show you how it looks like. Something like this. And then it's just going to create a bunch of circles right here along this axis. So hopefully I can give you a better perspective on this one. So these uh, traces are going to be parallel to the y-axis. So we're creating a cylinder along the y-axis, just like this. So something like that. And of course, it extends in both directions, negative y as well. So hopefully you got an idea of how to sketch cylinders by really tracing circles and extending it along the missing axis. Let me give you the 3D uh, calculator picture so you have a better perspective on this.
So here's the picture in a 3D calculator. So as you can see, green is the uh, y-axis. So this cylinder is created along the y-axis. Its radius is two. So you can see above we go high two and low two, and you can just rotate around to get a better perspective of this. So that's the cylinder along the y-axis. All right, so I hope this helped you understand another surface in 3D.